Okay, let's talk about saving Snapdragon seeds. Now the little picture you're looking at right now is generally how Snapdragons look. Now if you look at a Snapdragon flower real close, it kind of looks like it has a jaw and some and a, two, and a mouth and all that stuff. And, and that's why they call them Snapdragons. If you squeeze them on the side, it looks like their mouth opens up a little bit. And uh, they're, they're kind of a nice, pretty flower. Now these are some snapdragon uh, flowers and you can see at the end of the season what happens is the flowers turn into uh, these things here and those were once the flowers. These are where the seeds are. Now let me pick one of these off gingerly here and uh, see what they look like right there. there. It looks something like this. Now if you pull back, you see that there's full of little seeds, almost like a pepper shaker. Now what you do to get those, you see I've got a little envelope here. Now watch. See that? See them? There's hundreds of these seeds in there, in each one. And these are snapdragon seeds. What you do is you just kind of put a hole in the top there and you can just shake them out see that so we can get a little more aggressive here there well so I think I got most of these but you can see inside there let me there that's probably a good picture right there you see all these those are snapdragon seeds. Now what happens with these what happens with these snapdragon seeds is kind of interesting. As you can see here, here is a pod. I guess you could call it a snapdragon seeds. And you can see some of these, see right here there's little there's like holes on the top. Now they all develop those. And what happens is those holes get bigger and bigger until uh, the wind comes along, I th I, it looks to me like, and then they blow out of there. Or if you catch them before the wind comes along and blows them out of there, you can harvest the seeds out of these things. See, like, let's pull this one off here and look at it. There are still seeds in this one. I can see it. Some of them they're not. Some of them uh, you can pick them and they'll be empty. So this is how you harvest the seeds is... Uh, you get them out of these little, uh, these little uh, cocoon things, whatever you want to call them, and you pour them out. But you got to get them before you know they're all empty, because naturally it looks to me like what happens is they get these holes on the top, and I guess in the wind or whatever, the uh, seeds disappear. There's a good example of how these seeds uh, change. You can see there's one of the flowers back there. What happens is they go to a thing like this. Let's see if I can focus it. They go to a thing like this, see? And then what that does, uh, that cures, and then as it cures, it eventually goes to a thing like this. You see? Let's see if I can pull one of these out. It goes to something like that. And these things eventually, you can see the little eyes for me. It almost looks like a face. But these things, let's pull one off here. These things are where the seeds are. What happens is if you uh, let them go too long, now let's see if we can see them pouring out of there. There, see? There, see, there's. Now, if you let them go too long, what happens is the seeds just come out by themselves and they disappear. So that's how the Snapdragon seeds go.